Hey everybody, Mike Wardinsky from NatureMike.com here, and today I've got a confession. I often forget to change the time zone on my camera when I travel to a place far away from home. But have no fear, it's easy to fix in Lightroom. Now before we get started, one thing I want to suggest is if you find yourself in this situation where you're traveling and you forgot to change the time zone and you remember halfway through your trip, I would suggest just leaving the camera as is, you know, keeping the time zone that you're on, the wrong time zone, until you get back home and then adjusting the entire trip at once. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here's a real life example. I was on safari in Kenya and I actually did remember to change my date and time before I even got to Kenya. The problem is I forgot to change it back once I got to the US. And I went out to White Sands and I shot for four days on the Kenya time zone. And so now I need to change all of those shots that I shot in White Sands to the correct time zone, which is mountain time. So the first thing I need to do is find out the time difference between mountain time and Kenya on the date that I was there. Now, the reason I say the date that I was there is because not all countries and states change for daylight savings time. So we're going to go over to our web browser and we're going to go to time and date. I'll go ahead and leave a link to this website in the description of this video. And what we're going to do is go to month and I was there in October. So I'm going to go October 20th, 2024, and we'll just leave the hour set to 12 AM. And I'm going to set the first location to Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is where I live. And the second location we want to find the difference between is Kenya. So in this big list, I just have Kenya chosen right here. And then we're going to go to convert time. And if I look at the top here at the specified time, Local time in Nairobi was nine hours ahead of Santa Fe. So I know I have a, a nine hour time difference between mountain time and Nairobi or Kenya. Now I will point out that this is the old version of the uh, time converter and they'll try and get you to use the new version, but the new version doesn't tell you the time difference. So you kind of have to calculate that on your own. So now that we know the time difference, let's go back to Lightroom. You can see I've got four folders with images from White Sands. And so the easiest way to convert all these at the same time is going to be to put them into a parent folder. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to the current parent folder that holds all my photos. I'm gonna control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and choose create folder inside the folder name, which is 2024. And since I organized by date, I'm just gonna call this 2024 1109 White Sands trip. I'm gonna add trip on the end because I already have a folder called 2024-11-9 White Sands right over here. And so it won't let me create a duplicate. So I'll just put trip on the end and we'll create that. And now I'm gonna take all four folders and drop them into this parent folder. And I like to give these parent folders a color label. That way I know it is a parent folder. So I'm gonna control click on a Mac, right click PC, add color label, and red is my label for that. Now I can go ahead and click this parent folder and I'm gonna hit the G key to go to grid view. And then I'm gonna press command A on a Mac, that'd be control A on a PC to select all the photos that are within this parent folder and all these subfolders. So 1,361 photos selected. And now we need to change the metadata. So I'm gonna to go to metadata and then I'm gonna scroll down to edit capture time. And then we're gonna come down here to the second option, shift by set number of hours, time zone adjust. And since I know that white sands or mountain time zone is nine hours behind Kenya, I'm gonna come over here and just go to negative nine and then I'm gonna hit change all. And you can see in the top left corner, I get a progress bar. And then if I come over to my metadata tab and look at date time original, it now says 5.42 PM, which is correct. Before it was set to 2.42.14, which is definitely not correct since the sun's out. And that's all there is to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around for the next video.